Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are taking a look at this super adorable Lego Friends space set. This is set 42602 Space Research Rover with 514 pieces and it is ages 8+. plus. This is part of the universal space theme this year with Lego that has spanned across multiple platforms um, from Friends to City to even Lego Duplo and Star Wars. Did you get my joke? because <laughs> it's always in space. Anyway, um, but this one was so cool. I have actually really enjoyed looking at all of the space sets. This one is on loan from my sister. She actually purchased this, but out of all of the sets, this was one that both of us were like really, really excited about. It is so cute. So before we get into the set, let's go on to the mini dolls first. All right, our first character here, this is William. And I just realized that when my sister built this set and handed this over for me to review, she didn't include his hair. He's wearing his space suit. So I'm so sorry. I'll include a picture of what his hair is. But um, I think overall, I think it just reviewing this otherwise will be just fine. Because really the new part is the space suit, which is like a light pinkish purple, maybe a lavender with orange knee pads and decorations. Looks really good. I love those back pockets. Both characters come with a little spacesuit helmet with a like a little backpack attachment on the back and it fits over really well. You can see his face in it super super good. So that that's William. And here we have Olivia. Her spacesuit is opposite of William's, which is fun. So hers is just the inverted colors and it is basically the same design otherwise. She has little glasses and a regular Lego hairpiece, as well as her own space helmet, which looks pretty good there. Then we do have to show off the little space dog because he is absolutely precious. He is in his own space uniform with no detailing, just it's like literally a white glove and you can see his little face through the visor. Super cute. I love that they brought their dog on this space adventure. All right, so we basically have a main build here of this little like moon rover, as well as a small plant life build, which is actually pretty neat, and a small little scooter. I guess I'll just start with the smallest first here. We have just this like little hover scooter that a character can fit on, which runs on batteries. We see a lot of this common theming throughout, you know, the Lego City also has batteries. These ones, of course, are more girly, so they're like pink and purple, and the color style is just a little bit different. But really cute, small little build, super easy to play with. I do like that quite a bit. And then the character fits perfectly on the little scooter. And then, of course, we have the plant build or the alien life form build. Loving this, like, pearlescent, translucent blue and pink. Looks really nice. So basically, it's just two flowers and they open up and they hold little alien creatures that you can take off the stem. I guess this is where they live. Or something, I don't know. It looks like you can watch some videos on it. According to the box, there's a series online. Um, but these little space guys are super cute. They are the same, so you get two of the same. And they're just, like, really super duper cute. Again, something that we see amongst all of the space line throughout the themes. So it's nice to get an environment piece. Of course, the main attraction to this build is going to be this little rover here, which has a couple of extending arms that you can control from the cockpit. Um, one with a camera and then another one that can be like a grabbing arm. You can see like the charge there. Obviously, the most drawing thing about this is the trans purple and orange coloring is so cool. You can see a lot of the actual build just looking through the cockpit. There is a couple of stickers, but you can see where you can control the little truck and then in the back it is a living quarters and this just appeals so much to the inner child in me. I loved this stuff. I used to spend my time building like RVs with my Legos to like make them have a home that they could travel in. I love that concept. I never did this in real life but I, I love the concept that you can just like pop out and you know and live here and also drive. So let's go ahead and check it out. It does come off um, the back comes off and it has this same like attachable port as the space station, which is pretty cool. You could add it on. Um, and I personally think that the Friends one is much more detailed than the Lego City. And again, I think that personally Friends is more detailed than regular Lego because it's appealing towards girls and girls tend to care a little bit more about those details. 
in general, not as a whole, but just fantastic. This is also a fine set for a boy. I mean, it's it's got some pink, but like nobody cares anymore um, with some trans purple. It is definitely something that I would not mind my son playing with. This is so cool to me. But inside, you can see the cockpit here, a little control panel. And then it does only have a spot for one minifigure, but if you took them off of the feet hooks, you might be able to squeeze both of them in there. But it's really nice. It looks like a rather cushioned seat. And then it actually has a space where it'll lead straight to the back. You can't really get your fingers through there, but I like the connectivity between it. But I love the little stickers here with um, someone outside the space station. It actually looks like the character I have sitting in the cockpit and the little alien creature. And then on the other side, this is Planet N1C3. So that's interesting. I don't know if Lego City visits that same planet or not. Like I said, this back is detachable. And then, of course, you can open up the top and it gives you a really good look into the cockpit or back cockpit, I guess, in here. Um, I wish that there was like a little bit more room to fit your hands. I mean, it's ba based for kids, so it's not, you know, they're not really thinking of adults with this. But um, I really love the little station for the little space dog. He has food and water up on that little bed and it's he's got a really nice view out the back window and then of course we have the two sleeping quarters for the characters which I think is super precious uh, there is a little screen off to the side and then if you tilt the beds up they actually become a workstation and I really like that that seems like that would be realistic if somebody was ever exploring in a little unit this size the beds would fold up to create a like little lab and we have a counter with some battery monitoring, and then it looks like they're studying a some sort of organism. So that is really cool. There is no suspension on this vehicle like we've seen with some of the Lego City ones, but the big giant wheels are pretty fun. The the top part is is connected together, and then the back wheels are free and loose, and so it gives you definitely a sense of you know spinning. The the sound is horrible, and my desk is a little bit too slick for these wheels to turn, but definitely something fun to play with for sure. I'm really pleased with this set. I think that it is so fun. I love that it goes with the space theme set. So like if you had some Lego space, you get some friends. It's more colorful, a little bit more detailed. You could throw that in there as well. Um, or just have the Lego friend set. So I think that this is an awesome set. Uh, really cool. I just, I love the concept of it. And I think it also presents really well. Definitely out of the space theme. It's my favorite, but maybe I'm a little bit biased. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And until next time, I'll catch you later.